The latest set of the LEGO Ideas range is Sonic the Hedgehog, and while not being the first LEGO Sonic set ever made, is for sure one that will make fans of both brands really excited. I don't usually start with the minifigures, but in today's video I'll make an exception, as this guy is the highlight of the set. The head element seems to be the exact same one of the Dimension set, but the printing is different, with the black eyes and the smirk on the side there. The torso is printed on both sides, and the legs are dual molded, with blue and red for the shoes as well as some extra prints in white and the details on the side here. Sonic has a special stand where he can be displayed with a ring on his hand and the 7 Chaos Emeralds, one of each added to the stand after a new section of the set is completed. The original game on which the set is based upon only had 6 though. The 7 Chaos Emerald was first introduced in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 game, so I'm curious as to what the thinking was behind this. The core of the build is a section of Green Hill Zone, the first level of the game and it features a lot of the iconic elements the level had. You kinda feel you're inside the game with this one, as right at the start there's the lives indicator, unfortunately a sticker, and the whole thing rests on top of a black stand LEGO architecture style. The palm tree closely matches the design of the fan submission on the LEGO Ideas platform, and next there's a bridge, built in a very interesting way. The water effect under the bridge looks nice, and over it there's three of the iconic rings Sonic runs to catch all of the time, held in place with transparent bar elements. Next, the checkpoint that can be switched to red after Sonic has passed by, and a brick-built loop, something that I always think of when thinking about Sonic games in general. There's even some studs on the bottom here where we can pose Sonic, and while being the coolest detail of the set, the checkered pattern for the most part was done with a bunch of stickers. On top of the loop there's two item box monitors featuring some of the power-ups Sonic has access to while playing the game, and the set actually includes five of them, so you can switch them for the ones you like the most. There's the invisible, shield, power sneakers, super ring and extra life. Next to the monitors, a smaller platform held in place with the transparent panel elements to make it look like it's floating. After the loop, there's a jump platform that actually works by pressing the hidden mechanism on the back, though there isn't a lot of space to trigger it and therefore Sonic has a hard time getting all of the three rings. A simple flower is the last brick build detail and I wanna mention these pins here. There's two holes at the beginning as well, so LEGO is being clever here. Does this mean there will be more sets to expand this? Does it mean they want you to buy a few to make a bigger level? You decide. The back of the set was taken care of and there's a very small easter egg here, some sort of top 3 ice score where number 1 has what seems to be a meaningful date for the fan designer Viv, the second place player's score looks like a lego set reference although none exists with that number, and the initials of the graphic designer Lauren Cullen King. And on the last place with 1991 points, probably a nod to the year Sonic the Hedgehog game was released, there's Sam, the lead LEGO designer for this set. While the checkered pattern on the loop was done with stickers, the rest of it under the grass sections are actually all brick built, mostly out of stacks of two 1x1 plates which honestly wasn't that fun after doing it a few dozen times. For the grass itself, the combination of colors used was lime green and bright green which looks great together, and on the sides we see one of the very few printed elements of the set, this 1x4 tiles with a Minecraft style of print. These are held in place with a considerable amount of these fairly recent 1x1 one one bracket elements, never seen before in these colors. Aside from Sonic himself, there are a few enemies he must overcome, the first being the crab meat with somewhat posable claws, and a moto bug that comes with an extra tile for the face to change its expression. No Sonic game is complete without his biggest enemy, Dr. Eggman, aka Robotnik, and for a brick built character he is actually quite accurate to the real thing in my opinion. The white hands are the only specialized element, while everything else is somewhat common. The head dome is a printed brick, but the white buttons on his pants are stickers. Robotnik isn't complete without his egg mobile, his flying device he often uses to fight Sonic at the end of the game levels. The shapes of the vehicle are nicely captured in my opinion, though it should have been rounder overall. There's a few stickers for extra detail and it can comfortably and securely carry Dr. Eggman inside. The stand is included in the set. Aside from the dozens of times I have to build stacks of 1x1 one one plates for the checkered pattern of the floor, by the way the new element from the Chinese New Year traditions would have been perfect for this, the rest of the build was enjoyable to do. There weren't any crazy building techniques but the tree, the bridge, the jump platform and the egg mobile were really cool elements. Also the element selection on this set is really, really good. It is very rare that I look at a pile of pieces after dumping a numbered bag on the table and seeing myself thinking, wow, I could probably use 95% of these pieces 
increases in my custom builds. It's that good, believe me. And so at little over 1100 pieces, it is a great deal price per piece ratio wise, even though there's a few hundred one by one small elements in. Sonic fans will be really excited about this one and the price point isn't as scary as some LEGO releases lately, which is going to make people more willing to buy into this even without any prior LEGO purchases. All in all, I think this is a great set. If you're a Sonic fan and you missed out on the Dimensions pack set a few years ago, here's your chance to get the character and a nice display to go with it. For LEGO fans in general, this might not be the most appealing set of all time, but for builders like myself, this is also a great parts package. Am I right? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.